Is 2022 finally the year of the Linux desktop? And will the Linux desktop master race finally receive the glory and appreciation it actually deserves? Well, not if Linux desktop keeps on looking like this. But luckily for the Linux community, there's a group of nerds and individuals that call themselves risers. They pimp up your Linux desktop as a hobby. And some of the results, which I'm gonna show you in a second, look pretty amazing, so stay tuned for it. But first, an example of how you should not be doing it. This is my setup right now, and it looks pretty boring. This is how you create a nice desktop experience. This whole rise gives this Linux desktop a very Apple style feeling to it. Oh yeah, and by the way, configuring a Linux distribution to look pretty is called rising, and the result of it is called rise. When I look at the screenshots, I feel ready to work, chat, or just wipe on my PC the whole day. I mean, just take in this rice for a moment. The only thing that confuses me about this right now is the Polyphia 40 ounces thing. I thought the 40 ounces was an adult beverage. But overall, it looks pretty organized if you take a closer look at the taskbar. Each app is organized into a little section like Dev, Web, or MS. I don't know why the terminal is in the web section but i digress we also have a more or less classic gnome launcher which has been tweaked to look it's more similar to the one that the mac os uses overall it has a really clean look it feels almost like an apple product and it comes completely for free so maybe you should check that one out hello world i'm Tenet, your friendly neighborhood hacker and today we're gonna take a look at some linux rise setups which will convince you to finally make the switch to linux and make 2022 the year of the linux desk the following one is also a pretty clean one but it's a completely minimalistic approach using the i3 wm which is a tiling window manager. It features rounded info and notification bars in a nice color palette containing information like use CPU, RAM, free space and more. No idea what the thing in the middle does, but it has the Rebel Alliance logo from Star Wars and I love it. But where are the apps? Where are the windows? They almost disappear with the matching background and or transparency if it weren't for this thin line highlighting the open apps and active apps in different colors. Also, the maker of this rise is called Space Jesus. Let that sink in for a minute and let's move on. What I don't quite like about this rise in particular is that it doesn't showcase the feature of the tiling window manager which it is using, unless those things here are different sized gaps. The next thing on the list is actually one of my favorite rises in this list. So let's take a close look at it, shall we? It looks like the love child of the first two rises that I just showed you. The dashboard looks like a dark tint version of the iOS shortcut menu containing important infos like running music, launchers, the weather, boot menu and used resources. It looks pretty neat and yet it still showcases the feature of the tiling window manager which is being used over here. It's like a nice version of my system. Should I try to recreate this one in a video? Like and comment down below to let me know if I should recreate this rise in a future video. But customizing the design is not the only thing that we're limited to on Linux. We can also make it automatically switch between a dark theme and a light theme. I mean, to be honest, you can probably do this with a Mac as well, as you can see in this image. Not sure if this even runs on Linux, but it was on the R Unix porn subreddit, so I guess it should. Maybe? It's just a Mac OS thing. But there are other tools that are specifically made for Linux, like the next one. This tool can be very useful for risers and designers alike. A minimal font previewer. You can quickly search the font by name and display it in real time on the right side. So if you're a designer, come join in the Linux desktop master race right now. Come, come over, I'm waiting. Where are you? Come over, come on. Back to designs, if you're a fan of animations and smooth user interfaces, you're gonna love this. This one features smooth transitions and animations when opening new apps and switching workspaces. Now if that doesn't convince you to finally switch to Linux desktop, I don't know what will. Or don't I? Maybe you like it a little bit more spicy. Then this setup 
could be for you. A little warning before we get into this one, this setup broke my brain. It starts with these windows that feel like they're in a 3D space, but you can switch over to a tiled setup similar to the ones we've seen before. And if that's too boring for you, don't worry, it got lots of these trippy animations in it. Now, <laughs> let's cool it down with a simpler and calmer rise. This one feels like it's liquid for some reason. Look at all these rounded corners, even in the home section. I think this is the perfect rise for you, future Linux desktop master race member. Using this setup makes me feel cool, calm and collected. And it also makes me feel ready to subscribe to this channel right now so you get more content about hacking, coding and Linux. Or maybe that one's too bright for you. Could be. Well, then check out this darker rise. The bright fonts and the icons match perfectly with the dark windows, bars and background, making it a pretty good choice if you're into dark themes. Dark themes for everything. We have them here over at the Linux desktop master race. So come, join now. Or are you maybe a gamer like myself? Then take a look at this rise. This rise features a Legend of Zelda background. I specifically put it in the list because of this background. And the background may look like it's animated, but it's actually not animated. It uses a visualizer tool called Glava to make the Sheikah symbol bounce. You can connect it to your Spotify and music and then make it bounce to the sound you're vibing to right it now. It basically brings back an ancient Chica technology back to life on your modern Linux desktop. But maybe you're just a power user that needs like 20 screens to handle their work for some reason, I don't know what reason, but maybe you do. Well, Linux got you covered here as well. This setup, which I specifically just chose or the amount of screens that you can see on this photo is for real power users. No Windows user would ever dare to have so much screens on their desk. Only a member of the Linux desktop master race would dare this. So come on in and join it. How many times do I have to tell you this? Please just come over to Linux desktop. And, and if you don't want to join the Linux desktop master race, you could instead become a member of my Patreon. You can join my Patreon and support the channel. Your money will go directly back into the content making process. It will be used to hire a video editor that can help me produce more content and also give me financial freedom to spend more time working on my content. You even get something back in return like exclusive Patreon merch and your name in the description of my videos. Check the link in the description and join now and take pride in supporting a small content creator. Speaking about pride, with this tool called CLI Pride Flex, you can show your pride on Linux desktop, a fun little tool to have running on a secondary monitor or when you're AFK or just to cheer you up during work in a window next to your work. And for the more futuristic members of the Linux desktop master race, we have this next rise. The windows together with the border and the neon colors make it look kinda retro futuristic and is that even a word? I think I just made it up right now. The blur effect also gives the windows a glass-like look, which gives it a really nice touch. Or maybe you need something less flashy and flamboyant. I just learned that word, please forgive me if I pronounced it wrong. While this rice has some colors, it keeps it calmer than the previous example and gives it a minimal and clean design. Similar to others on this list, it uses a tiling window manager and makes the app disappear by using the same color for the apps as it uses for the background image. To be a professional Linux riser, you need at least Arch Linux, NeoFetch, a tiling window manager and some anime waifus. What a nice meme about Linux that we have over here. If you want to see the dankest memes about Linux, you should check out the video that is popping up right here on screen. And let me know down in the comments if you want me to make more videos about Linux rising. 